Hey, good morning. It's Betty. And I uh, just ran up to the store to get my coffee. I like to get it from racetrack because it has like a coffee buffet. You can grind your coffee and then you go over to the to this little refrigerated area, put different flavor creamers or mini marshmallows and whipped cream. So I always put whipped cream and put some chocolate syrup on it. <laughs> it's a good start to the day. But um, I am going to do a little yard work today. Go ahead and trim this uh, Laura Pelham. It's gotten, I like to keep the bottom of it kind of, kind of like without any leaves on it. Maybe gives it a little different feel to it. See this one you can't really trim the bottom of it because it's got these branches that come out from the bottom and they're just as big as the ones from the top so it just wouldn't work out it wouldn't look good if I cut the leaves off the bottom but this one here it's got all this stuff right down here that I could get rid of and then leave the top bushy just <laughs> like making them look a little different. I think it trims it up, makes it cleaner looking better. Anyways, I'm gonna go in and get my clippers and get to work on this and I might try to trim the one in the backyard too. There's these caterpillars out here. They're called buck moth larvae and they sting and they come out if you could see that it's like the shape of a caterpillar on my arm <laughs> it hurts it's been there for like a week and then just this morning i went out under the to look under the truck put my hand on one i didn't put my hand on one i think that there may be spikes on the ground or something i didn't see anything but it just started burning and it looks just like the other one so they're all over and they come out of the oak trees so I just got to be careful I don't get stung anymore. But let me go grab my gloves and, uh, and my cutting tools and we'll get this yard cleaned up a little bit. Hey, look at that thing. They're just all over. There's one on that leaf there. There's one crawling on the tree. That's what they like is the oak. Down the branches. I don't know if those are dead or what. Let's see, there's some more. So I really don't want them falling on me or me touching them. So see, I might trim that too. It's just really depends on if I see any of those caterpillars around. Well, enough worrying about bugs. Let's get to work. <laughs> Well, since it's so overcast today, there's not a nice pretty blue contrast to sh so you could see the difference in it, but I think it looks a little better than it did before. 
And maybe without those uh, extra branches and limbs down there, it will focus more of its energy on filling in up top. I don't know. It might start trying to focus on growing those bottom ones back for all I know. Well, I think I'm gonna go tackle the one in the back now. I'm not gonna let those caterpillars scare me. They say you could put duct tape on the caterpillar sting and it'll remove, like you could pull out the, any stingers that might be stuck because each of those hollow spines is like attached to a poison sack. And so, so if I try to maybe this tape, because it looked like I could see little little dark spots in the middle of the of where the stings were, so they might be the spines still in there. I don't know, but last night I put a piece of tape over this one. You can see the outline of the tape because it itches really bad. we go much better I left that little poof ball over there cuz I think it adds character <laughs> oh yep I'm good no bites <laughs> and the bushes look great thanks for watching uh, you all have a wonderful day <laughs> take care bye bye